The following program is brought to you by Element 14, the electronic design community where you can connect and collaborate with top engineers from around the world. Join now at element14.com. Hi, and welcome back to The Learning Circuit. Today we have something special for you. There is so much to learn in electronics, and everyone is in a different place in their educational journey. So far, we've covered pretty basic concepts and projects, but we also want to provide lessons for those of you a little farther down the road in your learning. Today, we've invited Daft Mike to present a more advanced topic. Hi, Mike. Tell us about the lesson you're going to be presenting today. Uh, today, we're going to look at a thermistor. Uh, we're going to write some Arduino code, build a circuit, and then convert the values from it into a temperature reading. Awesome, let's do it. The sensor we're gonna to use today is an NTC thermistor, and that's a special type of resistor whose resistance changes with temperature. And to read that with our Arduino, we're gonna build a circuit on breadboard. And we're also gonna need some wire and a 100K resistor. I like to use the Arduino Micro because it plugs directly into the breadboard, but you can use any Arduino you like for this. So first I'm going to connect 5 volts to the top power rail and then ground to the bottom power rail. Now I can take my thermistor and connect it to 5 volts and then in the same column I'm going to connect our resistor to ground. And it doesn't matter which way around these components go, um, they, can, they work whichever way. Now finally we connect the midpoint to analog pin A0. And that's it, that's all we need to do. Now we can go and write some code. To start with, I'm gonna name our thermistor pin A0. Then I wanna set up an array to store a bunch of readings so that we can take an average to smooth out our data. This line sets up the serial monitor and in our main code, I'll declare our output as a float and then write a for loop so we can calculate our average. Inside the loop, we'll store a thermistor reading in our array and then add it to a running total and then delay for a while to give the ADC a chance to settle before it runs through the loop again. Then outside that loop, we'll divide our running total by the number of readings to get an average and then we can print it to the terminal. And if I hit Control T, that will format everything for me and Control U will upload. This is a graph of the output. And now if I warm it up with my finger, you see the trace rises. If I let it cool down, then it drops. So we're getting some useful data here, but there's still a couple more steps to do before we get an actual temperature reading. They do involve some maths, but don't worry if you don't want to follow along with this next part. All the code is linked below for you to try out yourself. Here's a diagram of our circuit. It's a voltage divider. R1 is our thermistor. R2 is 100K. Now there's an equation um, for voltage dividers and that goes V out equals V in times R2 divided by R1 plus R2. Now we know V out because that's what we measured in our code. V in is five volts. R2 is 100K and R1 is what we want to find out, that's our thermistor. And the way to do that is to rearrange this equation in terms of R1. My algebra is a little bit rusty, so I'm just going to skip through this. We can use this equation in our code to find out the resistance of our thermistor. We need to add a couple of new variables here. RV in is 5 volts. So that translates to 1,023. R2 we need to store in a long because 100,000 is too large for an integer. And now down here, I'm going to declare R1 and our equation we can type out like this. But that should be good. Now I'll just change this print statement to R1 and we'll be ready to go. Okay, now if I open the serial plotter and I go to warm up the thermistor, then the graph drops down. And that means we're getting a resistance reading. Our NTC thermistor should drop its resistance as it warms up, and then if I let it cool, it's gonna climb back up again. So now there's just one more equation we need to get our actual temperature reading. 
but it does sound a bit scary. This is the beta parameter version of the Steinhardt Hart equation for NTC thermistors. That's quite a mouthful. Um, what does that mean? Well, basically it gives us a, a really good way of approximating the actual temperature of our thermistor. And to do that we need a couple of uh, pieces of data from the data sheet and that's uh, T naught and that's in Kelvin so that is 298.15 uh, beta in our case 3974 R naught is 100k so again you need to rearrange this equation in terms of T so more code So I've already written the code. Up here I've got all the variables we need for our equation. Down here is the equation itself. It's um, not very readable. It would be easier to follow if I split it up over multiple lines, but it will do for our testing. And I've also added a Fahrenheit conversion here so that we can see both readings. And now if I open up the serial monitor, because we want a, a text readout, there it is, it's saying um, 26 Celsius. What's that, 79 Fahrenheit? Yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty warm in here. I've got some big lights pointing at it. Um, but I could actually check it with this um, IR thermometer. And yeah, it, it agrees um, pretty closely, within a degree or so. Um, not too bad, I'm happy with that. Let me see if I warm it up. Then, yep, yeah, the, the reading rises. And I've actually got some ice here, or ice packs. And if I see if I can balance that on it, then yeah, the reading drops and it's definitely below room temperature now. It's probably going to take a little while to actually get properly cold, but looks like we've got a working thermometer. So there we go. Hopefully all that maths wasn't too bad and you could follow along with what I was doing okay. If not, and you've got any questions or suggestions, you can visit the Element 14 community at element14.com, where you can also find all the code and diagrams from today. Thanks for watching.